Hello, I am Jenny McKenna, McKenna Property Management, and today is August 14th, 2018, and we are going to be walking 8281 Harvest Springs. Now, the interesting thing about this video is we're going to walk it with the seller who is now going to be a tenant until January or February of 2019. So everything we're talking about won't be done until next year when the tenant vacates. We are not going to do any of this while the tenant is in the property. So first thing I just want to make mention, I'm not concerned about it at this time, but I just want this to be noted. We have a beautiful tree here, which is part of the HOA requirements. That tree has got some roots that have uh, pushed up some of these pavers. I have spoken with the tenant who has lived here for multiple years. This has not gotten any worse. So in reality, maybe those roots have gone elsewhere and we don't have to worry too much about it. If it goes in underneath this concrete, we may then want to remove the tree, replace it with another tree, and then fix whatever needs to be done. To remove this tree, you are talking about $350 to $400. And the bummer thing is you have to replace it with another similar tree. So my thought is why mess with it at this point until it becomes something that we really have to deal with. So that's, I just wanted you to see. There's a couple things on this garage here that I just wanted to make sure is pre-existing. This step right here and then this scratch over here is all pre-existing. I am not going to be tagging the tenant at the security for that. There is also a keyless remote here that has never worked. So we are just going to consider this non-existent. One of the things I really like about this house is they just did some new landscaping. So they did it the right way with the proper drainage. They did a brand new irrigation system. So when we get into the back, you're gonna see a lot of what they've done. But all these new bushes, they have bubblers directly to them. So they're gonna just continue to grow and that's gonna look really nice. We have a paver uh, sidewalk here going to the front area. We are going to paint this, this courtyard gate. It's gotten just a little bit worn and torn, so we'll get a nice fresh coat of paint on it as well as the front door. You can see the front door has the old school uh, doorknob. We're not going to do the old school doorknob. We're going to use just these doorknobs or these type of doorknobs and we will just paint this door, sand this down and make this look really nice. That will also be the outside trim. I'm going to take you through the backyard first because we do have the tenant slash seller or vice versa in there so it might get a little loud so let's go through here all of these are brand new as far as his backyard he redid this in october of 2017. this is actually all brand new as well they moved it from this area here over to there did it the right way so that's really good all this uh, river rock is great this is going to be sold, so this does not stay with the property. Just want to make sure that if you're looking at the video and then later on wondering where this is, they are going to sell that and take that with them. Here is your synthetic grass. I love synthetic grass. This is what I wish every owner would do. Synthetic grass back here with the proper drainage right there. So this is your drain, which is ideal. You have an orange tree over there and a lemon tree over here. Odds of those trees surviving Las Vegas, mm, I give it 10%. And that's not the tenant's fault. We just don't do very well with fruit trees unless they are placed in the perfect amount of sun. I have no idea if this is the perfect amount of sun. So if we end up losing either one of these, we can always just plant another tree. We have the irrigation lines there, so not a big deal at all. But you can see they did a little paper over there so you could do some barbecuing. and the entry ceramic. My idea is we should lay down the uh, gray, whitish 
uh, plank ceramic tile. I think it would look incredible with this wall color as well as the darker countertops. So we would be laying that all through here and that would make this all flow into one. This is not granite. It is a very sturdy formica and it's in great shape. So I don't feel like we need to do anything with the countertops. The appliances are very upgraded, so we don't have to do anything with those. Uh, since we're not touching the kitchen, we don't need to touch the kitchen faucet or the sink at this time. That could be something we do at a later date if we want to. That's the slider that went out to the back. Um, all of the window bars or rods will stick, but the curtains themselves will not. So we will allow the tenants to put up their own draperies to match their own decor, except for in the master. And when we get there, I'll explain why. So we can leave that just like that for the showing period. Tenant moves in, they can put up their own color to match their decor. All of this color, there's two colors, a lighter gray and then a darker gray. Uh, we are going to be able to have paint for these. So we are gonna do more of a touch up in this property, not a full paint. So we will leave these colors for now, and maybe in four or five years when we call for a real a full paint, then we can uh, go with a, a little more neutral or lighter color. But I actually really like these, and I think other tenants will like them as well. We have an upgraded light here that is over the dining room area, which will be staying. Here's our two steps up. They go into our half bath. That half bath will need to have new flooring. So we will install the same type of flooring that we put in the great room into this bathroom. This is your entry into the garage. This is a nice, good two-car garage. Um, we have the original auto sprinkler system here. Even though they did all that work, this was something that was already working, so they just utilized it. I think it's looking a little older. We may be needing to replace the clock sometime in the future. Not right now because it's working, but sometime in the future, I, I imagine that clock is not going to survive maybe two or three more years tops. Auto garage door opener. This is something that was noted in the inspection. I'm not really concerned with it. We've had some torrential rains and this has not gotten any worse. So what I will probably have John do is just come in, sand this down, and probably do a repaint of the garage. Normally we don't do that, but since we're not having to do a full repaint inside, we could do just a spray paint out here and make sure that that gets covered up and looks good. That way I'll watch it. If there is anything that shows up after we paint it, then we're gonna know that we need to investigate a little bit more. But according to the sellers, They've been here for years. It was that way when they moved in and it hasn't gotten any worse. So I'm thinking whatever it was has been corrected. So a garage is great. We will get a garage remote for this property. Uh, John, we also need to make sure that this door gets painted so it looks nice as well. Any little touch-ups like that throughout the property, we'll make sure John gets that taken care of. So we don't really need a baby gate, so when the time comes and we uh, will rent this out, we'll remove this baby gate. That's not Sorry. necessary for us. Again, we're going to go into here. We're going to talk about a little bit about these curtains. So they put up blackout drapes, which is great. They're going to leave the rod. However, I really believe that we're probably going to need to put some blinds on this window. I will show you the other vertical blinds in the two other bedrooms. My suggestion would be you go through and you put the two and a half inch uh, faux wood white blind. It will create unity. It will also make the window pop because you've got such color on the wall. So even though they are removing or leaving these, I would still say we'd wanna put some blinds in this window. Carpet I think is, is salvageable for the stairs and the upstairs. The only thing we've got is we have a little wear right here. Not a big deal for me. We will be able to clean these up and, and use these at least for the next tenant go around. This, however, does need to go back to the ceramic. So whatever we do downstairs, we can do here. And my suggestion would be as you take it in through the closet. The closet has an area in the back far corner where the seams are starting to separate anyways. 
You don't see it now because you've got all of their stuff, but once they get their stuff out, it's going to look kind of um, a little bit more worn. I would like to see this looking bigger, so if we can take the ceramic through the closet, through this area, and then here through the bath, I think that would enlarge this whole area. I like that this tub is a one-piece um, enclosure, and they've also put rice paper on the windows. That's why I don't need to worry about blinds in here. So this is awesome. And they've got these on those other windows um, just above the stairs. I'll show those to you as we walk by. Some of the baseboards are going to need to be touched up. So as the touch-up happens, baseboards, anything that's got nicks or maybe uh, has, has to get a little bit cleaned up from the painting job. I know that the, the corners are not perfect or the ceiling lines are not perfect, but they are good enough for me. So I don't feel like we have to worry too, too much about that because we are going to be able to get it rented with just a touch up in here. This washer and dryer is staying. Pan looks good, so we don't have to mess with it. I am not saying we should put ceramic here. Leave this vinyl here. I don't want to rock the boat. The washer dryer works perfect. The pan is fine. This is a laundry room. We don't need to take the ceramic through here at this time. So we will just leave the laundry room the way it is. These are the three windows that have the rice paper on it, which I love. Because you don't have to put any window treatments on this. This is just to obscure any view of somebody on the outside looking in, but it lets the natural light in. So these three, as well as the master bathroom, as well as the three box windows in the dining room, all have this paper on it. Love it. Now, over time, this may start peeling off. If it does, we'll address it. But right now, it is great. We don't have to deal with it. We have a newer AC uh, Honeywell thermostat, which is great. There will need to be a little bit of painting since they just installed this recently around this. In this room here, we have uh, verticals. And see, I just think that those look a little old and worn out. So what I am gonna suggest is that we put in the white vertical, or sorry, the white horizontal faux wood blinds in this room and in the other room. This kind of stuff is just decals, sorry John. These are just decals, so they just come right off. And again, I think this room is, is just a touch up. We just need to come in and do a little touch up. That is a very blue-blue wall. I may need to get that wall to one of these colors if necessary, but in reality, it's a secondary bedroom. Unless there's a girl coming into this room, I don't think they're going to care much about that wall. But if, just as disclosure, if that's a little too bright, we can always do this color, and we'll just neutralize this all the way through. And then here is our third bedroom. We're going to talk about the same thing here. Ceiling fan's going to stay. I would like a new set of blinds on this window. They, of course, will be leaving the uh, drapery rods, which I think are fine. We can leave the drapery rods as a, as a tenant moves in. Let them add color and some spiff to whatever room they want. Um, but I do think that those nice white uh, blinds will be good for this room. Again, those are all just elephant uh, decals that will be taken off. And everything in here is just other than little touch-up on baseboards is really pretty good. This is another place that we would want to put the ceramic tile. So ceramic tile in this bathroom. Uh, the owner has just recently replaced the faucet here and in the master bathroom, both those sinks. So we've got good faucets. He's going to leave the shower rod here. And this is also a single enclosure, so we don't have to worry about grouting. This area here where the vinyl is peeled up, that won't happen once we get the ceramic tile down. So I like the idea of the ceramic tile coming into this bathroom for that reason, because water always seems to splash a little bit over the tub. Overall, this is a great house. One more thing, we will be painting the attic. And we may need to do some kind of cover on it because right now it's just plywood. So we're going to put whatever needs to be coated on it so that it meshes well with the ceiling. And um, that does need to be done. So what I would call is that we have heavy touch-up. We have flooring downstairs. And then really 
those are the big ticket items. I mean, I can get this rented with everything the way it is as long as we get some new flooring downstairs. So great property. We won't have this available for a rental until maybe around February or March of 2019.